I want to get your thoughts on just the career of Drew Brees and now that it has officially come to an end as he has retired from the NFL. So, I mean, from the beginning, obviously, all the way to the end, the end, class act, a gentleman, a father, you know what I'm saying? Just a great guy from what we see. Obviously, we don't know him personally, but based off of all the things we've ever heard him talk about, all the things we've ever heard about him from other teammates, other players and people around the league, so respected, uh, of, uh, you know, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time that we've ever seen. Blessed to say that we grew up watching him. Um, the journey from San Diego to New Orleans was not a, an easy one. After he messed up his shoulder, everybody thought it was kind of over for him. You know, he was probably told he would never be the same. And what did he end up doing? Within a few years after signing with New Orleans, he goes to a Super Bowl and beats the Indianapolis Colts. And, you know, he does the famous, I'm taking my kids to Disney while he holds up his basically uh, toddler son. And, you know, obviously uh, carries the city of New Orleans through the entire saga with Irma. And I mean, not Irma, with Katrina. Katrina. Excuse me, Katrina. I'm sorry, Irma still messed me up internally (laughs) in my head. Uh, So, I mean, what the man means off the field, obviously I can't begin to express because of his role in the community, Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, obviously the type of player that he was in the locker room, motivating and mentoring a lot of younger athletes and former players. But, you know, on the field, the guy that was just, electrifying like I mean this man literally lit it up almost every game he ever played and he played through some 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 injuries obviously we know this year he played through what looked to be the broken ribs the messed up shoulder the messed up foot so a warrior you know a gamer that a lot of people don't a lot of a lot of players nowadays would not play through those injuries they would kind of like they'd kind of bitch out and say you know I'm hurt I'd rather collect this check Drew was giving it everything he had every single game and you know, as much as I resent him for that Super Bowl loss that he gave us, uh, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And, uh, you know, he will be missed very much so in, in the game of football. And I know that, you know, he uh, he was an inspiration to a lot of people. An undersized guy coming out of Purdue, uh, career-changing injury in the early stages of his career to overcome all the odds and then dominate and then win the hearts of an entire city of, of New Orleans is just – it's incredible. And, you know, like I said, the, the, the game loses a, a big – a big piece, but obviously NBC gained a, a great, great broadcaster. I mean, dude, you took the words right out of my mouth. Like, I really don't know what else to say about Drew Brees at this point. I, I'll, I'll talk about it from this perspective. And I think that you could relate to this. This is one of those, these last players that we grew up watching. Like when, when you talk about watching the NFL or just watching any sport at a young age, there's always guys that you're going to gravitate to because those are the first players that you have physically seen who just play at an at an, an elite level and drew Brees embody that to the t he's basically one of the top passing quarterbacks we've ever seen in the game and mind you was undersized at his position i mean there were times where if you look at throughout his career, when he's throwing those long balls, he has to like look over all of these offensive linemen who are probably somewhere between 6'3", at probably the smallest, to about 6'6", and was throwing dimes 30, 40, 50 yards down the field like it was nothing. His, he was a mo- – like just the model of consistency from Drew Brees across the entire spectrum of his career. And mind you, going through different – phases of his career he was spectacular and I know towards the end they had some prime opportunities to at least compete for a Super Bowl just didn't work out I man when I look at Drew Brees' career I can't believe that he only won one Super Bowl and that's not to his detriment it's just man there were some really good years especially towards the end where they had a really good shot of winning the Super Bowl and they, they just had some bad breaks he had a bad break what happened in Minnesota with the Minneapolis miracle that God awful, no pass interference call against the Rams. And Roby Coleman. Yeah. That, that was, was the worst. That was the worst no call I've ever seen. Period. And it's just, it's one of those things. We just look back at it, the fact that he never had an MVP too. He never had an MVP throughout his, his, in, the entirety of his career, which is bonkers to me. I don't know how many times he threw for 5,000 yards in his career. I'd imagine it's probably a few times simply because Pretty much Drew Brees was running the whole show. They were just airing it out. And Sean Payton was basically running the show on offense. Just look at his career, man. He 
like you said, he's a great father figure. He's a great role model for the league. And I think the league is going to miss his presence as a player. But I think as he steps into this next phase of his, just his life, he's going to definitely be surrounded by his kids more, probably going to have a lot more family time that he's had the last couple of years. So that's great for him. And I think he's going to do wonders for NBC. And don't be surprised that he may possibly, I'm not going to put a lot of weight into this. Don't be surprised down the road. If he ends up somewhere on a Sunday night football booth, I don't know if it's going to happen, but that could, that could be a possibility. So I'm definitely interested in what he's going to bring to the table in this, his, the afterlife of his playing career in the NFL, but as he transitions into a broadcaster for NBC.